friends. Welcome back to the show. It's been a little bit, but we are glad to come back to you today on the special Wednesday before Thanksgiving for a special Thanksgiving Eve. Now that's something good podcast episode. So I've got Will here with me. Hello, Sarah and our <laughs> listeners. Hi. Yes, we're excited to be back. We've needed to take a little bit of a break, been a little bit of a busy season um, in our world and life. Um, some happy things going on and some hard things going on in our peripheral of our some of our friends and everything, but we're going to get back to sharing stories. But today, with in light of being Thanksgiving and in light of what the show is about, now that's something good, sharing good things, um, we wanted to spend a little bit of our time together sharing things that we are thankful and grateful for. Now, we have to say this. I kind of have a pet peeve about Thanksgiving when it seems like sometimes it's the only time of the year that we talk about being thankful or grateful. I feel like we should have an attitude of gratitude <laughs> all the time. That sounds familiar. Um, and that having a perspective and a heart and a thought posture, thought posture, thought position, heart posture of gratefulness and thankfulness is key. Now, you know, we talk about good things a lot here on the podcast. It is not in spite of or despite hard things that go on. We are well aware. Will and I could tell you story after story of hard real things that we've been through. Real life is real life. Yes, yep. But we are firm believers that we get to choose what we think about most. And the thoughts we think most often um, are the thoughts that we're going to repeat the most. And so we want to choose to try our hardest to see things through a lens of optimism <laughs> and of goodness and what God is doing and in thankfulness and gratefulness. Now, we could tell you stories. Will could probably tell you stories. I've been a little grumpy this week, honestly, and some moments have not been quite filled with joy or gratitude. What? I've been more grumpy than not. So it happens to the best of us. And we know there are real life circumstances that are really hard and really painful. And sometimes it can be difficult to see the good through the storm and in the midst of what's going on. Um, and so that is when having good friends and filling yourself too with podcasts that are going to bring you some joy with praise music that's going to bring you some joy and just some good people just help to kind of encourage you along whatever season you're in. But we want to share some good things and hopefully as maybe you're driving to somewhere for Thanksgiving, maybe you've got this on while you're cooking your Thanksgiving dinner. Shout out to all you guys cooking and prepping. Maybe you're working today. Wherever life finds you as you listen to this ap episode, it's our hope and our heart that it's going to bring you a little good, a little joy, and a little gratitude into your life as we share some things that not only we're grateful for, but our friends are. So we took to the interwebs, Will, right? And asked a lot of you to share with us something that you are grateful for. And so we want to start off really by sharing things that you shared. And it's exciting. So, Will, you got anything to add? It's good. Perfect. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to start over on Facebook. Our friend Jill shared this when asked, what are you grateful for? She said, so much to be grateful for this year, but watching our daughter be baptized is what I'm most thankful mm, for. I one. love that. Yep. That is definitely something good and something to be thankful for. Thank you, Jill. Okay, now I got to look at all these other ones over here. Let's see. Oh, Anna, we can say her full name because she's my sister, Anna. She was on, I don't know what episode. You'll find them all. Go back. But Anna was back one of our episodes one. Yep. Mm -hmm. in um, season one. And she said this, I'm grateful for the opportunities I've had to grow closer with friends and family. I'm grateful for the mentors, coaches, counselor, friends, etc., who've listened, supported, and loved me as well as taught me valuable lessons. I too often focus on my mistakes and where I could have done better. So I want to say I'm truly thankful for how far I've come. Mm. I love that. Growth is definitely something to be grateful for. And sometimes in the moment, right, it can be really easy to focus on all the things we're not doing or all the mistakes sure. we're making or all the ways we're failing. Mm -hmm. But when we pause for a moment and really look at where we've come, that's something to be grateful for. We're always making forward movement, hopefully. Yep. Thanksgiving is a great time to look back on what happened already this year and be thankful for the things that happen and not get overwhelmed by the things that are yet to come or that you haven't yet accomplished. So good one. Good one, Anna. Yes. You know, Will and I are huge believers in taking time to pause and mm -hmm. reflect and look back on things. Um, if we don't, you lose momentum and it's hard. Okay. Here is one from, this is from Aunt Sue. <laughs> Oh. is our Aunt Sue. She said this, grateful for the men in my life, John, Galen, Brent, Reese, and Jesus. I love them all. Love that. That is a good list of some good crew men. Fantastic. Thanks, Aunt Sue. Okay. This is from our friend Jackie. Jackie shares, 
I'm grateful for God showing me I do not have to strive in my career. Accepting a new position in November, 11 months in the making, which allows for more family time and less stress. Also, stepping out of my comfort zone with vulnerability with select friends. Things I've never spoken aloud before. Hard things, but so worth it. Mm. Jackie, that's awesome. I love hearing this, what you're grateful for. Thank you for sharing that. But man, stepping out of our comfort zones, my word for this year has been safe. I think I shared that on an earlier episode of this year. And so I feel like I definitely have had some situations this year where I've had to step out of my comfort zone or out of what I can see and allow God to just come through in in more ways than maybe I always am inclined to put myself in. Mm -hmm. And there is so much good and gratefulness that I think comes from those moments. So thank you for sharing that, Jackie. Okay, Will, we're in between comments. You want to share something you're grateful for? Something I am grateful for really is just perspective and uh, taking, we have some few days off of work the last couple of days and just being able to just kind of, even though it's not been like super uneventful, it's been crazy, but just a a change of pace a little bit gives an opportunity to to have, you know, have perspective on what we have, what we don't have, and and really be thankful for what, um, like I said earlier, piggybacking off of Hannah, where we've come, how far we've come this year. There's lots of good things. So I've got a gratitude moment right now in our podcast studio. You guys have probably seen pictures online. If not, go follow us on Facebook or Instagram at Now That's Something Good Podcast, and you'll see a glimpse of our little studio, home office slash studio. We right now have a candle lit, and this is several gratitudes in one. One, God bless candles. I mean, how fun are they? They just provide you warmth and like a glow in your home. And, and for all you sense. guys who are listening, it's fire. I mean, what else do I have to say? <laughs> Thank you for fire. God. But this candle not only smells good, but it is in a candle. It has a little thing on it. It has a gnome on it, which if you know me, you know, I have an affinity for Christmas gnomes and gnomes. And it says there's no place like gnome for the holidays. And what makes this even better is not only is a gnome candle, my good friend gave this to me and she does not like gnomes. And so it was truly a sacrificial gift. A sacrifice gift of love for a friend. She saw this candle, thought of her friend, Sarah, gave it to me and I love it. So shout out for the gnome friend. Thank you, gnome friends. Yes. I love it. The whole family benefits from your gnomeness. It Thank does. you. I am grateful for that right now. Okay. Back to your guys' thankful comments. Oh, it's loading. It disappeared. Oh, no. Hold it. Sometimes holding. things just disappear and we can be thankful that we have tech and it causes us to be. Okay. This is from sometimes. our friend Chelsea. Chelsea and her husband Levi were on an episode um, not too far ago, like September, August, sometime <laughs> in there. Go listen to the episode. They had a lot of great things to share if you've not listened to their story. Um, this is great. I love what she shares here. She says, grateful that God has used the mess of our story and redeemed every broken piece of it to turn it into our message. He pulled us out of the valley this past year. I love that, Chelsea. Thank you so much for sharing that. And as I said, go listen to their story. They have an incredible um, just testimony they give of being in some hard places, some places where they're kind of out on a limb, not sure what was going to happen and how God was going to come through, um, but stories of how he came in and did what only he can do to bring redemption and glory to himself. So Messes into messages. That's good. Love it. Man. Love it. Here is another one from our friend, Megan. Megan was our very first podcast guest episode. Shout out to Megan Wilson. Go check out that episode. She is just one of the most calm, encouraging, kind Mm -hmm. people I think I've ever met. Her kids are really fun and cool too. I've got to meet them and they're super cool. Yes. So go listen to Megan's episode if you have not listened to that yet. It's um, really good. She shares this. I am grateful that God chooses to use me despite my weaknesses and insecurities. He is so good. The opportunities he put, the opportunities to put my art out in the world in new ways this past year has been a gift. I'm also grateful for the people he's put in my life that are such an encouragement and always point to truth. We are so much better together. Megan, that is a whole lot of good in there that you shared. I love that. You actually need to go check out um, a shameless plug for Megan. She'd let me tell me this. She um, does beautiful art. She is a creator in so many different avenues and one is with art and she had the opportunity to work with another Megan on a book called, oh my goodness, I just went blank on what the book is called. I'm going to look, I'm going to look it up in a second. Will, do you know what it is to look it up? Anyway, Megan is an illustrator and she had a chance to illustrate this book. I'm going to tell you what it is. We're going to put it in the show notes. 
I'm going to, I don't, can't. While Sarah's looking that up, I just want to say, Megan, you are absolutely right. It is, if you're a creative person, and actually we're all creative in different ways, but being vulnerable and putting your art, so to speak, or anything that you've created or helped create it out to the world is vulnerable. It's, it's hard. So I appreciate Megan that you shared that, that you're grateful for um, the great support you've gotten just from, from being vulnerable, from taking that risk. And we're, we're better for it as a family because yes. of your creativity and your artwork that you took the risk to share your creativity to the world. So thank you for that. So our friend Megan Wilson that we're talking about, she is the illustrator for a book called Rosie the Reindeer, Rosie Finds Her Shine. This book was written by Megan Rogers, which we're hoping to get on the podcast at some point to hear her story because she's got an incredible one. But this book is seriously the most adorable Christmas book and it would be great year round. You need to go find it. You can find it at Target on Amazon or go follow. It is the handle is life is rosy on Instagram. Go find that follow along. It is so cute. Megan, you did an amazing job. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for that. Okay. Now back to the list. Will you got anything else to be grateful for? I'm grateful for you, Sarah. What? No, seriously. You, you hold a lot of stuff together. You champion people really well, including your family. Mm. And uh, many of you who are listening know that Sarah might be your champion or your encourager. So I'm just thankful for you and what you bring to the world. Well, I did not tell him to say that people. So thank you, Will. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. It's true. I love it. I'm grateful for you. We have a good partnership and for this podcast. It's a lot of fun. Okay. This is from our friend Katie. (laughs) Who's also the gnome candle giver? I just had to say, I try not to totally call Shout her out for Katie pod. and her gnome Katie, candling. Katie shared this. Katie and her husband, Josh, were on our podcast last February and our relationship series shared just so many good things on their episode. Go check that out. Katie shares this. Oh, so thankful for knowing Jesus and the opportunities he brings me. Grateful for family, friends, church, and fearless and his beautiful creation. I love that. Lots of great things to be thankful for. Okay, this next one is from our friend Phoenix. Phoenix was also a podcast mm-hmm. guest. There's a little bit of a theme going on here. Um, Phoenix and her husband Brandon were also in the relationship series, Serious, yep. shared so many good things. Go back and check that out. No matter your relationship status, there is something great in those Lots episodes mm-hmm. um, for, for you. Phoenix just says, thankful for God who answers prayers And I therefore have remarried parents. This is such an incredible story. At some point, we'll get them on to tell tell it, but just how God has worked. Um, Her parents who had been separated and divorced after years came back together and got married, I think just like within the last year, year and a half, which is really cool. Something to be grateful for. It's amazing. Love it. Okay. This is from our friend, Rachel. Um, Rachel is a part of our story that we met when we were at Liberty with Lily. If you missed that episode with our friend Kimmy, which we're going to hear from Kimmy in a minute, this is Kimmy's mom. And this is an incredible story. We share about it on that podcast more, but this is what she said. And I think this is so sweet. She said, grateful for Lily. Can't wait for the fall. We're Mm. pretty sure that our daughter Lillian is going to end up at Liberty University with Kimmy, which is just fun and a crazy God story, which we're great. You know, shout out to the whole Naro family. We are super grateful yeah. for you guys. That was a blessing in disguise of just how you never know when you're going to meet people yep. and when God's going to put people in your plate, in your life, in your path. And that was huge. So yep. super blessed. That I was, got little goosebumps when you were telling that story again. It was just a, a godsend. Grateful relationship. Grateful thing built, on ours. Right? Yep. Okay. Next one up. I love these. These have been so fun and it was really fun reading these this week. So this is from our friend, Jenna. Jenna was also on now that something good podcast. She was back in season one, I believe two shares incredible stories. You've got to go listen to her. Um, she's I lots like, of wisdom from Jenna. Yeah. For sure. Love her a lot. She says this, God has called me to shift things up on all levels of my life, finances, living situation, job, relationships, and family. In a time I have not been sure of where all the pieces will land, I'm so grateful that the goodness of God's character does not rely on my understanding of where that goodness will show up in my circumstances. That's so good. I got to read it again. So it says, in a time I have not been sure of where all the pieces will land, I'm so grateful that the goodness of God's character does not rely on my understanding of where that goodness will show up in my circumstances. That's right. It's been so good for me to have his provision, protections, and purpose revealed in the transitions so far. I love that. So maybe you're finding yourself in a place right now where things are kind of up in the air. Maybe you're transitioning, maybe things are different. And I love what she said, that God's goodness isn't relying on 
um, fully on our understanding. He is good regardless. And when we trust him and put our faith and hope and trust in him, we can rely in his goodness that he is going to continue to work things out. Might not always look like we think it is. It's usually never on our timing, but he is still good and he's so faithful. Love it. Okay, this next one is from our friend Aaron. Aaron was on our podcast back when we were doing our fostering and adoption uh-huh. shout out last November, which side note, super sad we didn't get to do that this year, but God is good and trusting him with the timing and all of that. Aaron um, is a foster mama and she has a really cool story. We're actually going to get to see her tomorrow. So right, when right. you're listening to us, go check out our stories because you'll probably see this. Um, she's she's got a really cool story. When we heard from her, she was in the middle of singleness and being in that journey. And since then she just recently got married, which congratulations to her and her family. She said, this is what she's grateful for. The ability to spend the holidays with, with all of my family, both sides, including lots of times with my new daughters and Mm son-in-law. So Mm -hmm. love it, love it, love it. Such a fun, fun thing. Okay. And I love this Maria This is from our friend Maria. She was on the podcast too, (laughs) back early on in season one. Her and her husband, Matt, they were on two different episodes. Both of their episodes are some of my favorite. Really good. And she said this, they're grateful for miracles. And this is a crazy one and it's their story to tell, but I also know they will not mind us sharing it. Maria and Matt shared on both of their episodes about Mm -hmm. their daughter um, that we lovingly call Nat G um, and her circumstances. She has got a form of muscular dystrophy that's pretty severe. And a couple months ago, she went through a really, really scary situation and Matt and Maria and all of us alongside of them watch God do a miracle. A miracle. Yep. Um, and so we've got to get them on. This is a great reminder to everybody listening to, to hound us to make sure Matt and Maria come back <laughs> on and share a part two of their story because we want them to share it. But God is a God of miracles and we are grateful for that right alongside you guys. Yes. Matt and Maria. It's a good word, Maria. I love it. This is from Kimmy. Um, Kimmy is the one we just talked about. Her mom, Rachel, met them in um, Virginia, which is super cool. She said, simply grateful for a roof over my head. I love that. I love the simplicity mm. of this. She ser- shares several things. I love this. Um, Cause sometimes it's easy to think that our gratefulness has to be these big, huge things, but sometimes it's just little small things yeah, every day. That, that often take to, for granted. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. so good. And she said, one thing out of many that I'm grateful for is the family that God provided me with. I think that's another one that we can easily take for granted. Family, I love that. And then she said, also so grateful for the good family. I'm literally so excited to make some new and fun memories adventures with my fave, Lily, which again, just such a fun, (laughs) fun story. Kimmy, we love you. We're so excited. Grateful for you and what God's doing in your life. Yes. Okay. Here's a really special one. This is from a longtime friend of mine um, way back in the day growing up um, from Kathy. Kathy says this, I've been in remission for 17 months after a stem cell transplant. And I love that. Like we're celebrating that right along with you, Kathy. Congratulations on that. Continuing to pray um, that every month will get to be stacked, that you'll continue to say that. And you would just continue to walk in healing and restoration of, of your body here. So love that. Definitely something to be grateful for. Yes. Definitely something good. And then I love this. Um, This is our own daughter, Lillian. (laughs) She put this in. She said, I'm grateful for clean water. Small things, again, very big, important things. A lot of the world does not have access to clean water. And that is something that we definitely can take for granted, that we can just go turn on a faucet um, and water comes out. And actually, most of us could probably admit that there's times when the simple things like the heat doesn't work, which we just experienced back of that. You just minute. had a cold you can night be last night. Frustrated, yeah. and it's like you know what? What a privilege that we have access to we these have things, a roof over it, and clean that water, we yep. can fix it and can have mm-hmm. that. So Lane says, "I'm thankful for clean water and the opportunities I have." And so often, yes. I think we can even miss opportunities right in front of us. Um, we can get so focused on just the here and now and what we see in front of us that we can forget. Um, mm-hmm. Sometimes there's much more to the story. So. I love that. Will, anything else? Those are a lot of the thankfulness from our friends. There are even more, but I think we didn't want this episode to be a super long one, Um, but I love it. Do you have anything else to share that you're grateful for? Just the opportunity we've had uh, because of really what God has showed us and and led us to in this podcast is being able to tell stories. And uh, again, back from the beginning, it's, you know, we, we can all take a lot of encouragement by hearing other people's stories, Mm -hmm. our neighbors, the people we might run into in the grocery store, all, all those people that we uh, uh, or end up being in circles that we may not even pay attention to have a story worth telling. And sometimes it helps us to be encouraged to know that we're not alone 
mm-hmm. and that other people have gone through hard things and have survived and other people are experiencing amazing things in their life. If we just take a, a moment to stop and listen or to ask some questions and to hear what's happening in people's stories, uh, it might actually bring a lot of encouragement to us. So I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity that uh, you all are listening and that you've heard stories and we hope we get to continue to tell more. Yeah, we plan to tell a lot more. So honestly, funny you said this, um, God just keeps kind of bringing us opportunities in our life to be able to hear things and there's nothing special about Will and I. It's just what it is. And so I just want to echo what Will said is take a moment um, to listen to people. There's that kind of cliche statement, but it's not cliche because it's true that everyone is fighting a battle Mm -hmm. and the holidays are hard for people. I'm sure a lot of you listening and and just so you know, um, Will and I will be, we're praying for you and for your family. We know holidays can bring up a lot of Mm -hmm. crazy family things. Maybe you're alone. Maybe you don't have family close by or for whatever reason, um, there could just be difficulties. And so just know that you've got some friends here and the good family and that we're thinking about you guys and praying that God would show up in big ways and small ways for you in the season, but never underestimate the power of being able to listen to something good and to share something good because you never know when those opportunities come. And I will be honest, some Sometimes they come when you very least want it or have time for it. So just a little story, and we're not going to share names, but we mentioned that our furnace went out. Last night, we came home. We got to go do some family thing. We've we've taken a little bit of break. Will's taking some time off work. I'm taking some time off work. Um, Being home is a blessing, so we're trying to keep gratitude, but like there's just... We've been in a really full season, and our house has needed a lot of time and attention right now. And so we're in the thick of just like trying to catch up with normal everyday life and doing a project and projects always turn into longer projects than you think. And we also have four kids around and trying to balance family time and all, all the things. But last night we had the opportunity to go do something in St. Louis as a family, which we loved, um, just kind of Christmassy to kind of usher in the whole holiday season. Season, it was great. We get home and then I get a text from Will that says, hey, somebody else has to put Link in the bed. The furnace isn't working. Right. Ne- never a fun. Never a fun thing <laughs> when it's like already 30 or 28 degrees and it's 9 p.m. It's cold. Or whatever, so. And really, this yeah. is how my goes. I could care less about the cold. I'm more thinking about what the price tag is going to be right, and the inconvenience of whatever yeah. this is. I'm like, I can put more layers on. Like, we'll be fine for a little bit, but whatever. So long story short, thankfully, we're able to take care of it. All, all the things. Somebody, we got some cool connections. Somebody came out today to just help. Um, well, this gentleman was in our house. Um, he, he's a talker and we love talkers. Like it, it was he's great. Got cool stories to tell. Cool and stories to tell. He yep. just found a place with Will and I today and Will's in the middle of a project. I'm like, literally our house looks like a bomb went off. I'm trying to organize clean Christmas decorations. Wait a second. Let's pause a little bit. You were wishing that he never had to come because you don't want somebody My to see your house. My worst nightmare is people in coming in our state. house when it looks disastrous. Yes. I don't know why. Like I'm getting better <laughs> about not caring, but it's just like, oh my goodness. And it literally, like when I say a bomb went off, this is not one of those like moments where you're like, oh, Sarah, like, there's a sock on things. the floor. No, no this literally, literally Christmas yeah. decorations everywhere. We're working on our laundry room. Everything that was in our laundry room is all out in our living room, which if you know me, like this is already my worst possible nightmare. Like, clutter just throw is chaos, nails on clutter, for Sarah. all the things it's holiday, <laughs> the kids it's, it's nuts. It's chaos. Um, and this gentleman, God love him. Like he just starts talking to us and sharing his story. And, and about two minutes in God does what only he can do. And I'm like, okay, we're going to be here for a minute in a good way. And it was just like that. You know what? Listen, I have a hundred other things that if I'm being very real, I would much rather be doing right now, like that are on my to-do list of things. But right now, the most important thing I can be doing is listening to this guy share his heart and his story um, and take the moment. And honestly, he shared a really encouraging part of his story. There was some cool connections. Um, He was a believer, which was kind of cool. He noticed Mm -hmm. the scripture we had on our wall, which I thought that was neat. Anyway, so that's just the reminder that you never know. Right, right. (laughs) When stories are going to come your way where you get a chance to just listen, where maybe you get to be the one to share some good or just encouragement right. and what that can do in the middle of somebody's life. I have no idea if we made a, bl- if that guy, who knows, but um, it was cool to just get to sit there for a moment yes. and hear what he had to share. So we're hoping that this holiday season, you will get a chance to share some good um, and listen to some good and be an encouragement to, th- to those around you. So I want to share this verse as we just kind of close out our Thanksgiving special. Now that's something good episode. 
It's from Psalm 106. And honestly, this passage I'm going to share with you is shared multiple times in the Psalms and throughout um, scripture. It says this, it says, praise the Lord, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Who can list the glorious miracles of the Lord? Who can ever praise him enough? And I love that. It makes me think of this song. It's an older, not super old, but worship song. It says, your praise will ever be on my lips. And I think that's why Will and I are so passionate about good things and gratefulness and thankfulness. We do not do it perfect. We've told you that. You've heard us share stories by any means. But living a life, we want to be able to see the good things and have the praises of God be the first things that are coming out of our mouth and the first things in our thoughts. Because we know um, how much that can change, not just our own life, but the life of those around us. And so we are hoping that in this season, you're going to be able to find many things, big and small, to be thankful for and to be able to share those and think on those yourself, maybe share those with your family. We love it. Thanksgiving, we're those people that make everybody go around and share something thankful they're thankful for. Um, And we've had our kids do it multiple times, but I think it's so good because it just keeps in mind. And here's the deal. I told you it's a pet peeve of mine that we only do this at Thanksgiving. Um, I think we need to do it year round. I know I need to be better about just asking the people around us and starting this podcast has actually helped us go, hey, tell us something good. Yes. And it's really, tell us something you're grateful for, thankful for, tell us something good. Maybe this year you'll get to ask somebody that to and share in that and just continue to praise God um, because he loves you, he cares for you, and that's definitely something good. One other thing we're very thankful for is we are thankful for all of you. We're thankful that you check in on us um, when it's been a few weeks since we've shared some stories. That means more to us than you know. Um, it, we are so grateful um, that in our little corner of the world that we're able to share stories and encourage and champion other things. So we do have a few more stories coming this year that we cannot wait to share with you. And then we'll take a little holiday break, but we'll be back in January um, with a lot more stories. But make sure to chime in. You can email us. Where can they email us, Will? Podcast at saragood.com. You can find us on social media, on Facebook, on Instagram, and now that's something good. Come share something you're grateful with. Share us a story that's good. We would love to hear from it. You can DM, message us, email us. Um, And more importantly, not more importantly, that's the most important thing. We want to hear that. In addition to, if you're loving the stories you're hearing and the content, it means the world to us. If you would take a second to just review it on Apple Podcasts or follow along on Spotify, you can just follow. That just helps us be able to share more good stories with everybody. And that's a blessing. Will, anything else? Yep. I just want to pray over our our listeners. Perfect. To have a fantastic, uh, fantastic time of listening and sharing. So God, thank you so much for our listeners and for this this, uh, episode that Sarah and I get a chance to to sit down and share all the things that we and others are grateful for. I just pray for uh, those who are listening that you'd give them an opportunity to really listen in. I pray that you'd ask um, uh, or just enable them to be able to share something good and to receive something good this holiday season. Uh, Thank you so much for this opportunity and for our listeners. Bless them in their journey in this life. Help them to share something good today. Amen. Okay. Have an awesome Thanksgiving. Catch you next time. Bye.